So I have a lot of people ask me about the dihedral on the back of the blade. Can you tell me why you design dihedrals into most of the new blades? Um, do, do, you, do you want to know the history of the dihedral? Yeah. Uh, the dihedral is this thing on the paddle. Um, and it, that's actually a really bad descriptor for this thing. Um, the dihedral, the word actually comes from like the the angle on the wing of a plane and stuff. I think what they were looking at was when people saw the angled in the bent shaft paddle, they called this the dihedral, but because us Hawaiians, we don't get things straight all the time because our, our command of the English language is a little bit off. We thought it probably meant this. Anyway, it, it, I don't know. We don't actually know, but this is referred to as dihedral. Um, the, the dihedral was because of wood paddles. Wood paddles um, needed to be thicker over here but what we did is we were trying to reduce the weight by thinning out this part over here. Um, most paddles break from the center out. And so that was the idea with the dihedral or the bump on the wood paddles. Um, some people believe that the, the dihedral gives the paddle direction. You know, if you think about this in theory, the paddle is not supposed to be moving in the water. It's supposed to be a stationary object. Um, it does move to a certain extent. Um, but... Uh, and that's why sometimes having a V'd form on the back of, uh, or this bump um, can help the paddle be directed. The water flows off the blade. Um, the other thing about it is, you know, way to get your paddle, if, you, if the reason you think you need a dihedral is because your paddle is wobbling in the water, a lot of times the paddle is wobbling because you're not moving past the paddle fast enough. So what you need to do at that point is you actually need to slow your pull down, not pull less hard, but, but slow down the rhythm and get the board to move past the paddle in, in sync. Um, that's taking us very far from um, talking about the dihedrals on my current paddles and things. But um, the reason that we have the dihedral on paddles like the Hulu um, and like I guess our, our Toro has it um, and some of my other outrigger paddles is we kind of went to this construction method of a really thin blade with needing this reinforcing rib down here. Um, the other, and so that's why the, you'll see the ridge sometimes on my paddles. Um, the other thing it does is it allows me to control the flex of the paddle. So I get this graduated flex, flexing much more in the tip than it does up here near the shaft. Um, we do design some paddles with dihedrals um, because it, it does help with the tracking. It might make them a little smoother. But, that's, but you should never think that the dihedral defines a good paddle versus a paddle with a flat back. Um, flat back paddles um, are excellent. Um, I have a lot of paddlers who actually prefer flat back paddles. And so here at Kilo, basically what we do is our philosophy is I'm going to build what the paddlers like. So if, if the design calls for a dihedral, you're going to see a dihedral on that paddle. If it's calling for a flat back, then I'm going to build a flat back on that paddle.